2022 marks a great milestone for BCIC celebrating its glorious 45 years of existence, its contribution to the industry, government and society at large. In this occasion, presence of Honorable Chief Minister Sri Basmaraj Gomai makes it even more special to the history of BCIC. Sri Gomai is a visionary and accomplished agriculturist and industrialist. I would request Sri Gomai to please address the gathering. Please. ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಕನ್ನಡದ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಐ ಸಿಯ ನಲವತ್ತೈದನೇ ಅನರ್ಜನ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾಗವಹಿಸಿರುವಂತಹ ನನ್ನ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಸಹೋದರರು ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಐ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಶ್ವಥ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹಾಗೂ ಜರ್ಮನ್ ಗೋಕುಲ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ ಜಯರಾಮ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಐ ಸಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶೇಖರ್ ಅವರೇ ಕೋ ಫೌಂಡರ್ ಪಟ್ಟಣ ಸಿಇಒ ಚಾಯ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಮೃತ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಗುಜ್ಜಾಲ್ ಅವರೇ ಜಯತೀರ್ಥ್ ಆನಂದ್ ಅವರೇ ರಿಷಬ್ ಪ್ರಂಜಿ ಅವರೇ ಎಸ್ ದೇವರಾಜ್ ಅವರೇ ಎಲ್ ರವೀಂದ್ರ ಅವರೇ ಮತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆದಿರುವಂತಹ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿಯ ಸರ್ವ ಸದಸ್ಯರೇ ಹಾಗೂ ಸದಸ್ಯರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ಪರಿವಾರ ಬಂದು ಬಹಳ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಯಶಸ್ವಿ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಮೆನ್ತವಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಸೇರಿ ಒಂದು ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ಕಟ್ಟಿ ನಲವತ್ತೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಇದರ ಅರ್ಥ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿನ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹಳ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪಾತ್ರವನ್ನು ನೀವು ವಹಿಸಿದ್ದೀರಿ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಪಷ್ಟ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಈ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ಸು ಚೇಂಬರ್ಸು ಬಹಳ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇದೆ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಏನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಚೈನಾ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡೆಮೋಕ್ರಸಿ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಪಾಲಿಸೀಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಚೈನಾ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಚೈನಾಗೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯ ಇದೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಅ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಮರ್ಸ್ ಚೇಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಸೇಲ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಮಚ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಅಟ್ ಚೇಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟಪ್ ಟು ದಮ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ that means whenever we need you we talk to you <laughs> but both of us can really do a lot of uh, good to the business good to the state there was a concept when uh, business was uh, looked looked away rather but uh, after the liberalization and globalization after the market forces came into it, business has got its own place, an uh, honorable place. Now, the India is an uh, emerging India. The full strength of India is going to emerge in the next 25 years. That's why our honorable Prime Minister Narendra in Moji has said, Amrit Khan, only visionary can say this amrut mahotsav is a strong foundation for the amrut kal a person who thinks beyond the position and politics is a statesman in fact uh, somebody has said that uh, a politician is i on next election and a statesman is i on next generation
So we need more space now. India is a very large country. It's a challenge. 130 crores. So we need states now. Then only we can drive this engine called Bharat to the new heights. Things have changed now. Earlier we talked about the percentage of growth. India has grown 5%, 6%, 10%. Businesses have grown 5%, 6%. Now it is not the percentage of growth. The thinking of our, my leader and my leaders in uh, government of India is scaling up. So we, are, we want a very big leap. Ventures should be converted into adventures. We need young people to take it, take the challenge squarely. We don't want any any youngster or a leader to divert the challenges, or they just put them to the side. Therefore. Karnataka is one who is showing the way. That's why your tagline is uh, Namma Karnataka Gateway for Future It is quite appropriate. <laughs> and incidentally, this is a slogan of our state also. Namma Karnataka Gateway for Future So we think alike. Time has come to work alike or to work together. Karnataka is in forefront. We are forefront in innovation. We are number one state in the innovation, which has been declared by Niti Ayo for the last three consecutive years. For the last four, uh, four quarters, we are number one in FBI. 38% of the FBI comes to Karnataka. The next is Maharashtra, it takes 26 years. Bangalore is no more just an IT capital. I am telling you, Bangalore is economic capital. It's a financial capital, economic capital. You see the shift. You see how many companies, the financial companies, the venture capital is moving towards Bangalore. And as far as technology is concerned, I need not speak. You are there, you are using them. 400 renowned R&D centers are there in Bangalore. In all the industries, internationally renowned, from genomics to the aerospace, which no city in the world can boost, not India. No city has got so much of our resources. That is our strength. Out of 500 fortune companies, 400 are there in there. So, if somebody wants to just undermine Bangalore, it is not possible. And uh, they can't even think of it for the next three to four decades. But however, there is a responsibility on us, not only to keep this leadership position, but to bring in a qualitative change in the every field and see that quality is enriched. And secondly, we have to connect to the common man and the poor man. Whatever business we do, ultimately it will be connected to the common man. Right from the raw materials, right from the labors, right from the capital you take, everything is connected. In fact, uh, the movers and shakers of the economy are the bottom of the pyramid. As a chief minister, I can sanction 100 crores for a vote. That doesn't make any difference. But when using that Capturing the last man, a road worker, 
who in the scorching heat puts the asphalt, then rolls over it, then the vehicles move, then economy will also move. So now you tell me who is the more anxious. Therefore, keeping in that hard the value of the labor, we have to move forward. I was just speaking in the same, not in the same way, the other way yesterday. Our Prime Minister in the last Niti Ayurveda said that $5 trillion economy should be there by 2025. And we have decided that Karnataka will contribute $1 trillion economy. And we have not just said that, we have made strategic plans and uh, seamless approach for any entrepreneurs and we have kept the last man in mind also because economy is not money. Economy is the people, people activity. Therefore, we have to keep that last man as well as connect to the best of the things in the world. Therefore, our Prime Minister slogan has given two slogans. One is doubling the income of the farmer. The second is white trade. These two are directly connected. Because 1% growth in agriculture will bring 4% growth in manufacturing. And it brings 10% growth in our service sector. Agriculture is the driver of economy. Not only for the production, not only for the food security, not only producing the raw materials, but remember that farmer is not just a producer, he is also a consumer. Sixty percent of the population is on farm. So whatever production we make, however it goes, it will be ultimately used by the dead sixty percent of the people. So he is also a producer, he is also a consumer. Hence, this kind of a realistic approach is necessary and that's what we are trying to do in Karnataka. We have been blessed with the natural resources. We have been blessed with the human resources too. And you are blessed to have your establishment in Karnataka, in Bangalore. And you have been blessed to be a member of BCIC. <laughs> Yesterday I was addressing CIA. It's like swimming in an ocean. But we really feel happy when we swim in the, our own well. <laughs> So we are saying in Canada, I don't know if it is relevant or not here. Samudra in the Mupavat Kinta Bamagan Kapi Agurwale. We have got plans. We have got strategies. Our minister was talking about uh, the ABC strategy we have where you can just give the affidavit and start commencing your business. And you'll give two years to get all the, all the clearances. This is the level of uh, ease of doing business we have come to. Because the industry, the manufacturing, the trade has got that credibility now. And we respect that credibility. Hence, it will be a much more easy place to start. The only issue in Bangalore is land. Land has been a very costly affair. The maximum capital goes into that. And more so with the loss. Now, as our 
Honorable Minister said we have used a lot of laws. Further easy law will be there in the procedures. And so that anybody who wants to make a venture can have easy access to the land. And the uh, venue is growing. Business is also growing. Bangalore is growing beyond Bangalore now. What was earlier Bangalore? 800, now it is 800 square kilometer. Now it is almost uh, 1400 square kilometer. So you should also think beyond Bangalore. We have got beautiful cities coming up, satellite cities in Bunku, <coughs> in uh, Kolab, in Vidvi. What we need is a very good connectivity, which we are planning in a big way. Connecting the satellite towns. The problem is, uh, everybody wants to be in Kormandra and just hang out. <laughs> and they complain, this is not food, that is not food. How can the old roads, which are around 60 feet, maximum 80 feet, can pick up such a population and population of vehicles. Every day 5,000 new vehicles hit the road. Roads are same. The population of vehicles next year will be overtaking the population of the people here. Kya <laughs> kare? So it's very easy to say that this is not there and I'm not there. But we have to Think about it. Not that you are not solving, you are solving it. A lot of flyovers are coming, a lot of changes we are making, a lot of metro is coming. But uh, you don't have any value. Earlier it was uh, Mahanagara Palike. Then became Bangalore Mahanagara Palike. Now we brought Bangalore Mahanagara Bees are adding. But uh, we have taken it as an opportunity also and uh, we are coming out with new plans. And uh, as far as uh, our R&D is concerned, we have come out with a new policy, R&D policy. This is the first state to come out with R&D policy. We are going to encourage R&D from garage to the universities, to the schools, universities and to the international institutions. At the same time, we have come out with the employment policy. We will give all the incentives for capital investment. <coughs> but uh, if you are employing more, then more incentives are. And because I want my boys to get a job. My boys to get a job. And that is the real economy. If uh, 10 people become rich, it doesn't mean anything. The whole society should have a contribution in the program. The moot question is whether a state should be rich or a people of the state should be rich. It is the people of the state should be rich, then automatically the state will be rich. Sometimes state will be rich, the people are not rich. So this is all new concepts which are coming up and I want BCIC to concentrate and contribute all, all these ideas. Come out with ideas, you, you are hands on. We are all policy makers, we are standing far away, but you are hands on there. Come on with your experience, share your experience. Just by sharing experience, you can give new things to this society. And if this august institution can't share, then which institution can share? So you should have, I just saw the awards announcing for uh, health, uh, and uh, education, all of our awards, that's a very good thing. But you should have one award for new initiatives, innovation, and uh, societal development. And uh, I think I spoke a lot. As much as Thank you. Thank you very much. All the best. And. Uh, Let's keep in touch. I assure you, I assure you, my government will not only do the handholding, we will work with you every step 
and uh, we will work shoulder to shoulder with you. Thank you.